Hey Fruit Faces, hopefully it's not too windy here for you guys today. I just want to talk with you for a few minutes today about Sally Fallon Morell. I haven't done a video on her for a while and getting some comments on some really old videos that I have. So I figure I better just kind of bring it up, rehash the old drama, and talk about Sally Fallon Morell. I think that's still her full name. She's pr getting pretty old now, but she's still not as old as Mimi Kirk. If you think that Sally Fallon is a good, you know, like, beacon of health and example and all of that look up Mimi Kirk and see who you think is healthier looking and keep in mind guys when you're thinking about this I don't know if Sally Fallon is obese or overweight but she's definitely one of the two and she tries to hide it she uses really old pictures on all of her books and it's really misleading just like a lot of their links if you go to the Weston A. Price Foundation page and you actually take the time to follow the links if there are usually there's not links unless it's linking to their own page which is just redundant like why even have a link if you're that's all you're gonna do as a source like as a reference it's not a real reference if you're referencing yourself I mean come on that's just ridiculous but if you do find a study that you can actually you know go to Google and search for then a lot of times you'll notice that it's either a debunked B funded by the Adkins uh, Foundation or the meat and dairy councils or things like that or it doesn't actually say what they're trying to say that it says like you actually have to do your research and people are telling me oh there's tons of references in that book nourishing traditions or whatever or any of the other books that she's written yeah, there may be references, but did you actually check up on those? Did you actually, and I, I'm not trying to like shame people here because I was in the same boat. I did the same thing. I took that shitty ass advice. Um, and I even, you know, when my kids were young, started to raise my kids on that advice without even looking into it. And it wasn't until I went vegetarian and started to go vegan that I realized that it's all a fucking load of bullshit. And one of the things, again, that you need to remember besides her obvious appearance and overweightness you know is I mean there's a lot to remember I could go on about this for hours and the whole just all of the flaws in the thinking and and the experiments and the studies and all of this stuff and how much it's been debunked well let's just go back to looking at her like you can look at her and see she's overweight and every extra additional I think it's two inches over about I think it's 28 the UK study said only 28 inches for women but I think that the United States waist measurements are at 35 so anything above and I guarantee you her waist is above above 35 inches any additional two inches above that is going to increase your risk of like mortality by like for females, I think it's like 17%, somewhere between 15 and 19%. Those are the studies. Those are what, you know, and when most people are dying of heart disease and cancer, and cancer is related to meat, you know, then why would you listen to this person? And people say, oh, well, you don't listen to doc all the doctors, and they have credentials, and they're attacking me for saying that she has no credentials. And I get their point, because credentials don't mean everything. It doesn't mean you're not corrupt. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It doesn't mean you're smart. I don't have any nutrition-really related creden credentials. I've just done a lot of research, independent research, where I'm not biased. And that is one thing that Sally Fallon Morell and the entire Western A. Prep Weston A. Price Foundation is completely lacking. Um, they are not, they are not objective. They are completely biased. They are funded, supported, and basically an organization that is created to support farmers. And they call them small farmers, but there's no minimal like level you have to meet in order to be accepting their, you know, their funds, their sponsorships, their support. There's nothing. There's no uh, rule that says you have to be this small of a farmer. It's it's they're pretty damn big farms that she's that she's promoting that she's dealing with, and it's just like the FDA people. I just really and I don't want to be rude and say wake the fuck up, but please do like wake up. And I'm not saying it to be mean and shame people. Like I really want you to wake up. Sh sugar people think sugar's the devil, but guess what? Sugar's not on the carcinogenic list. It's not. Sugar's not even fucking toxic. You cannot overdose on it. You can overdose on salt, you can die off of a salt overdose, but you cannot overdose on sugar. It is not toxic like they're trying to lead us to believe. And, you know, even GMOs, none of that that they try to claim, I mean, is I'm against GMOs, but I'd rather eat GMOs than 
fucking meat because meat is on the carcinogen list. Like, probable as far as, like, regular meat goes, but as far as especially, you know, the, the meat that most people eat is processed in some way, shape, or form. Lunch meat, hot dogs, what's the other big ones? Bacon, of course, sausage. There's something wrong with all of the meat. I mean, it's, it's the whole thing. It's down to the saturated fat, it's down to the endotoxins, it's down to the extra pollution that is trapped in the fat cells. It's everything, like, and it's getting worse and worse. It's not healthy, and you know, Sally Fallon, her little crew says to say it's all about this, it's all about that, but they've never successfully debunked anything. If you look again, look at the actual links, look at the studies, again, they're not links, but you can find the studies that they link to. They're funded by the freaking Dairy Council and the Adkins Group. Look it up. This is not, it's not common knowledge because people don't take the time to do their research. People just literally copy and paste Weston A. Price Foundation website all over the place just because just because that's all you know that's it and it's jacked up and people want to say oh well where are your credentials like you're attacking Sally Fallon you don't have credentials yeah but I'm not I'm not the president of an organization that is trying to sell you more meat and dairy like there's the difference it's a clear conflict of interest just like the FDA if you're against the FDA and against the the government and their ideas of nutrition, then you should definitely take a second look at, at the Weston A. Price Foundation because obviously they're in the same boat as the FDA. The FDA is overcharged. They have too much on their plates. They're trying to keep track of the financial sector of the industry, the food and drug you know, industries, and then they're also trying to cover the safety. And those right there are two seriously conflicting things and that is exactly where the Weston A price you know has positioned themselves and they are trying to pretend like they're so pro health and yet they're really looking out for the financial interest of their sponsors and of their own board members and foundation they I mean Sally Fallon runs a farm that sells meat and dairy like it's ridiculous, <laughs> you know? It's like, seriously, just open your eyes, wake up, go look at the links, like I told you. I know they put a lot of quote unquote references, but you need to follow them. And again, go to Google and, and, and just type in Mimi Kirk and compare her to Sally Fallon and see what you know a mostly raw vegan lifestyle can do for you. I mean, if any single article or infographic you come across that has healing foods, it's all bright vibrant fresh fruits and vegetables it's common sense stop lying to yourself stop trying to feel good about your bad habits stop killing animals it's fucking up the earth even grass-fed beef is fucking up the earth you guys grass-fed beef is actually because it takes so much land it's actually the number one cause of deforestation in the amazon just stop seriously just stop making excuses it's not better for your health there's no reason to follow Sally Fallon's advice. Let me know what you think. I know some people are gonna disagree with this, but leave me some actually valid points and, and tell me why, you know, where's all the saturated fat studies that aren't paid for by the Adkins and the meat and dairy industry, like, or any other big junk food, big pharma, like all of this stuff. And, and it is hard to find research that's not tainted because all of these scientific journals, you guys, are funded. If you look at the actual journals and you're, like they are actually funded by big pharma, big junk food, all of this stuff. Watch what the health. If you have even remote amount of like conspiracy theories and mistrust in the government as far as nutrition goes or anything, watch it. It shows exactly which of these big, you know, health groups are funded by which uh, pharmaceutical company and all of this. It really explains a lot. That movie is amazing. It's on Netflix. Watch it. Seriously, watch that before you comment if you're a Sally Fallon subscriber because you're going to need to learn the real facts and not the pretend facts, the alternative facts that the meat and dairy growers are trying to get you to buy because that's all they're trying to do. They don't care about you. They don't care about your health. They're trying to make money. I'm not making money. I don't make, I've made three, I've made 400 less than 450 dollars off of my youtube 
and a lot of those weren't even the nutritional types of videos. My nutritional videos like this don't get that many views. I haven't ever made that much money off them. Compare that to what Sally Fallon is making and you'll see who has a conflict of interest and who you should trust. So, and also again, go off of, go off of what works. I'm 35 years old. I realize Sally Fallon's a little older, but there's many, many, I mean, Annette, what's her name? Annette Newton, Annette Lawrence is amazingly gorgeous. Lots and lots of, you know, vegan people. If you just go to the internet and search up vegan, you know, vegan fitness and you look at all these people that are fit, then go look up like Paleo or Adkins or Weston A. Price Fitness and you'll see the difference. When you look up a bunch of Paleo people and stuff like that, you'll find a lot of obese people who've lost a little bit of weight but they're still struggling to try to lose weight. If you look up a bunch of vegan people, yeah, there's a, there's overweight, you know, vegan people. It's not like it can't happen. Most of the people are going to be really slim or at least athletic and fit. And, you know, when you look up paleo, if, if they're fit, they're going to be like, you can tell they're like abusing stimulants at the gym like all the time, probably on steroids, yada, yada, yada. But the, the vegans are slim because it works. It really does work. And I do care about you and that's why I'm sharing this video. Um, I, you know, it, it makes me upset to see people so blinded and commenting on my, on my page and getting so backwards in the head just because I said something about the fact that she has no nutrition, uh, you know, qualifications really to speak of compared to somebody like T. Calling Campbell, which she doesn't. She has no real scientific training, even if you count a nutritionist like degree, which again, as I said in, in the most recent comment, nutritionists are, I mean, doctors don't have a lot of nutritionists or nutrition like experience usually. Um, when you take somebody like T. Colin Campbell, yeah, he's got years and years of experience when it comes to nutrition, but he wasn't necessarily trained. You know, doctors mostly have like zero, zero to 10 hours of nutrition and that's it. And Sally Fallon, you know, whatever her nutritionist degree, nutritionists are, not that they're all bad, but they are pretty limited in what they're supposed, what they're taught and what they're supposed to be saying. And in order to have a license, that's why they have it so tight knit. I uh, forget what the board is, but the board keeps a, a tight watch over them. They only actually license certain people. It's real competitive so that they can p keep their thumb on people and have them tell people what to say. And that is, again, because these types of organizations are all affiliated. They're all sponsored. They're all affiliated with big business. And it's sickening. And don't think that just because Sally Fallon is promoting small business that it's different because it's not. These businesses are big. They're money making. They're making a shit ton of money. And Sally Fallon just wants to make more and more and more. And if she, if her advice really worked, she would be slim and she would be fit. And she is neither. So let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to eat your fruit.